Happy Friday. General Electric will split into three companies, breaking up the manufacturing conglomerate for good. The company will separate its healthcare business in early 2023 and combine its fossil fuel, digital unit, and renewable energy components into one single energy entity to be created a year later. Oil prices dipped lower this week after a month-long surge as investors wait and see whether or not the White House will tap into its own petroleum reserves or even ban oil exports. U.S. President Joe Biden pressed OPEC Plus to bring down oil prices with a large output hike last week. China's cash-strapped real estate developer Evergrande Group managed to avert a default with a last-minute bond payment. However, the country's property market still remains strained as the company is weighed under $300 billion in liabilities. U.S. consumer price inflation pushed even higher in October, according to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It climbed 6.2% over the past 12 months, hitting its highest mark since November 1990. The cryptocurrency market crossed a 3 trillion market cap this week as cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum rallied. These tokens have caught the eyes of investors over the course of the pandemic and have brought new features to their underlying networks, bringing even more excitement to decentralized finance. The Rogers family saga came to a close over the weekend as BC courts sided with Edward Rogers to validate his reconstituted board. Loretta, Martha, and Melinda Rogers issued a statement saying they were disappointed with the outcome, saying it represented a black eye for a good corporate governance. The company has no intention of filing an appeal. Tesla CEO Elon Musk raised some eyebrows this week after putting out a poll on Twitter asking followers if he should liquidate 10% of Tesla stock. In the tweet, he added that much was made from unrealized gains as a means of tax avoidance. On Wednesday, Musk disclosed that he sold $5 billion worth of Tesla shares partly to cover taxes on stock options.